Salutations, viewers. My name is Game Name, and welcome back to another one of Game Name Reacts, where we have Unreal Engine 5 being taken up upon by Gears of War. And I'm very excited to see it because we got a developer showcase here for us in the tech overview. So without further ado, let's watch the tech overview trailer for Gears of War developer shows off Unreal Engine 5. I meant to say five. Did I say Unreal Engine 4? We've been working with Unreal Engine I meant 5, to say 5 for over a year now, and we've already seen a lot of the benefits. Our relationship with Epic uh, has really impacted positively the Gears of War franchise, whether it's collaboration or calls about various systems or contributing code. We've been creating numerous prototypes and demos, and we're happy to show you uh, some of the results today. Hell yeah. What you're seeing now is our Alpha Point demo. It was an early access demo that we showed at GDC in 2021. There are a few different components, an abbreviated character cinematic, and a early large world technical test. The I world remember tech this. Test was built to test a few things. It was built to test the landscape system. How does it react with Nanite? Um, how does world partition streaming function? And how do these all come together and perform on Xbox? So MetaHumans came out about halfway through our character rendering visual tech test demo. And so we immediately sort of stopped what we were doing for a bit, took a look at MetaHumans and wanted to see how it could augment our existing character that we were building. And so we pulled things like materials from MetaHumans and eyeballs and teeth and bring it all together and just see what level of fidelity we could hit, throwing all the latest tech in Unreal Engine 5 at it. This cinematic demo brings the character quality of the new rendering systems, the environment technologies, the new Lumen rendering system, all together to create a real-time cinematic experience that goes beyond anything that we've done in the past. I'm wow. personally very it proud looks of them. So they good. were all sort of labors of love for myself and the art team and engineering teams and really opened our eyes towards what the next gen quality visual bar could be. And so it was a huge learning experience for us. And I think it actually set us up really well when Epic came and asked for help on the Matrix Awakens demo. The fact that we were able to ship this experience on I still Xbox need to play Series that demo. With all the same features, including ray tracing I think I might have missed it, that though. we had on the Xbox Series X at such a high quality level is really amazing. With the launch of Unreal Engine 5, what I'm most excited for is the developer efficiency that we have for our team. We really are able to deliver a AAA experience that we've always wanted to without the compromises. Which is what a, especially AAA titles should feel like with no compromise. Unreal Engine 5, I feel like, is a huge game changer, and I feel like we haven't fully even realized how much of a game changer it's going to be. It basically um, democratizes game development across the world. And yes, there's accelerations for AAA developers like ourselves, but it also um, is a great uh, entry point for indie dev studios. And so I think it furthers along Unreal Engine 4's vision of everyone can build a project and, and build a game. And I think it's gonna change the entire industry. I think it is too. Um, just purely based off of like kind of what we've already seen because everything looks just so realistic and smooth. And I think that's the biggest thing is to make it look good and for it to feel real, but still for it to be a game all at the same time. I think Unreal Engine 5 is gonna bring so much to the table and I'm very excited to see what games are being made out of it. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought of the look for Unreal Engine 5. And yeah, that's all the time I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I highly appreciate your time as always. But please do not forget to subscribe and or follow not only to my YouTube, but to my Twitch. You guys know where my YouTube is at, but you can find my Twitch at twitch.tv slash thegamedame. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.